So let's uh, let me open the book. Uh, assuming I am not. Um, logged out look at that I'm not logged out wow okay that's in um, chapter 4 of course 4.5 of course okay. and I'm looking at I have the book here let me see the page number so we go directly there Four five, page four thirty four. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay, four thirty four. I let you choose whatever you want. I didn't take it. 434. From 1 through 74, 64 on this page, 62 on this page. Anything. Definite, indefinite, anything. This is a major topic in this class. Integration and integration by part by um, sub using substitution. What about number fifty-two? Number fifty-two. Fifty-two. I see it. Perfect. So the integral from two x plus one from one to four from two x plus one divided by x squared plus x minus one dx. Perfect. Good. So let's think about a substitution. We keep using u, but it doesn't matter. You can use any letter except x, of course. That's the problem, exactly. As long as I can find du, I'm on the right track. So let's find du. Very good. But not enough. 2x plus 1dx. Very good. As you see, it's right here. So, therefore, the integral, do not copy the limits of integration of du over u. So now, when x is 1, how much is u? Very good. When x is 4, how much is u? 19. Excellent. So this is the absolute value of the natural log of the absolute value of u from 1 to 19. It's only 19 because when I plug in 1 in natural log, I get 0. Very good. Any questions on this problem? No, thank you. Very good. Thank you. I'm ready. I'm ready.
Is this the one? Is this correct? It's ready. Perfect. What do you think? Three minus x to the fourth? Yes, absolutely. Three minus x to the fourth, as long as we find du. Or close. And then, d, and then du would be um, negative x, I mean negative four x to the third. Good, but yes. Now that was good enough. So then I need a negative 4. Who cares? Multiplying the numerator by negative 4 and multiplying the denominator by negative 4 never hurt anyone. So then negative 1 fourth in front. This is the du. But what is this? to the fifth. Very good. So negative one-fourth, the integral from u to negative five du. Negative one-fourth, u to negative four over negative four plus a constant c. Negative one-fourth with negative one-fourth will be one over sixteen. And this is one over u to the fourth plus a constant c, but I have to go back to the substitution. So I have one over sixteen in parentheses 3 minus x to the 4th, to the 4th, plus a constant c. Very good exercise. Very good problem. Any questions? Um, there was one like this on the... Yes, I'm ready. Which one? Um, I don't have access to the test. Um, the test is so I think it was like number three, might have number one. So I, I, by the way, can you stay for a moment after class? I just want to talk to you for a second. Because sure. the testing center sent you an email and you haven't responded to it. I have not received an email from the testing center. Uh, in my mail, not in Canvas. They cannot send you, a, I don't think they can send you in Canvas. I know not everyone checks that email. Good. Okay, so um, what are we doing? Um, I think it was like number three on test four, test one to test. Um, I don't... I you mean on test three? three. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Sorry. so do you remember at least what it was about? Um, it was something similar. I'm not sure what it is. I need to click, click, click here. You don't remember anything about it? I don't know. If, was it an integral? Was it a limit? Was it a rate of It was a question similar to this, but it was an indefinite interval. Um, Was it the, um... If not, it's fine. Uh, we can do a different question. I don't have a no, no, no. So you're saying three, but it's it's two. I'm looking at two. Three was something else. And you had three out of five to choose. Mm, um, you know what? It's, it's fine. Never mind. No, 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 no. We're going to work on it, but I don't know which one you're referring to. There are five. There are five in, in that. So one of them is uh, with a piecewise defined function. Okay. Uh, the other one is one over two x plus three. The next one is uh, with e to x cubed. 
The next one was um, one of your colleagues already asked about. It's this one. And no. Oh, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Okay. Good. So we have the answer. Good. Anything else we want to go back to? Anything? check if, uh, if a solution is the, um, a function is the solution of a differential equation? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we did this problem in class with different numbers, if you remember. So y equals e to negative 4x. So this is, this is uh, e to negative 4x, we have to define the derivative and the second derivative. So the first derivative will be negative 4 e to negative 4x, and the second derivative will be 16 e to negative 4x. So therefore, that's my page 9. So therefore, the second derivative, 16 e to negative 4x, minus 7 times this, so that is plus 28e to negative 4x, and plus 44 times this, e to negative 4x is 0, maybe. So that was negative, that's why. So 16 plus 28 is 44, 44 minus 44 is indeed 0. So the answer is yes. Very good. Anything else? Is there anything else we want to go back to? Anything else? The demand is x minus 4 squared, and the supply is x squared plus 8. So when we set them equal to each other, x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals x squared plus 8. And we have negative 8x um, equals negative 8, so x equals 1. So 1 minus 4 is negative 3, negative 3 squared is 9. So the demand, I'm sorry? The, um, the area, right, or right. Okay. So, um, so the consumer surplus, I didn't mean to put the D here. So the consumer surplus will be the integral from um, 0 to 1 from the demand function dx minus 9, and the producer surplus will be 9 minus the integral from 0 to 1 from x squared plus 8 dx. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
what I was also